There we go. Jeez, you just whoop on it. It's unbelievable. You just kick your butt. We're on them. You know, the one thing I love about summer is that I would say, you know, fall fishing is great, spring fishing is great, but what I really enjoy about this time of year is the diversity of ways you can catch fish, and it can it can really be boom or bust. I mean, Dan and I were out yesterday looking in a lake we'd never been on. Pretty much struck out, didn't catch uh, didn't catch a lot of fish, hardly any nice ones, and um, and then you come out a day later and you look at something and there's wads of fish. You know, you can get we'll run into fish today. I know it. We'll find fish in cattails. We'll find fish in lily pads. We'll find fish on deeper rocks. We'll find fish in you know, that 10 foot uh, heavy weed stuff. So the fish are really everywhere and it makes it really, really fun. And one of the best presentations, if you're fishing around cover is of course, this is a punch and rig. This is one of the best tools there is. It, the, it's really, in my opinion, replaced the jig. I used to fish a jig all summer long. There we I'm go. I'm not saying Dan's got oh, a big one. Yeah, right. Jig isn't great, but this sure works good too. Oh, it's just another four pounder, Dan. Well, I rudely interrupted you, Jerry, and you were doing so well. <laughs> I think I got something snagged in the face. Oh, wow, that's cool. Look at that stud. Jeez. <laughs> you can flip those big fish in the boat. Like oh, that. man. And I tell you what Jer was talking about, and it's such a great point, this punching rig that he has set up so well. Look at that. Boy, you are strong. Man, alive. What a gorgeous fish. Just awesome. What he's talking about, and what's really critical here, and it's a good time to show it because my rig is messed up because that stud just chewed it for breakfast. But see how he's got this snelled? And it's so critical because when you get a tungsten weight in front of it, when I, when I push on this thing, I'm gonna show you guys this. This is so important. When I push on this sinker, see how that, see how that hook cams up? See how it's flat and now it cammed up? That's critical and he has this tide right. If it was reversed and it cammed away, we'd hook up much fewer fish. This really works in our favor. So when we rig this punching rig up, make sure you snell it, get that knot behind that hook eye. Number one, you don't pound your knot with your tungsten, but also it cams that hook into that fish when you set the hooks, it's more of a sweep set. So Jerry, you did me right, man. You set me up Sweet. perfect. 